when I started out my career in Blender, I had to learn the hard way due to the limited resources that were available for me to jump on. As at then, it was really difficult to get insightful study packs. But due to my dedication, I was able to scale through, even though I had lots of trials and error. Here I am. Take a close look at this car. I'm sure you can see what is wrong. This error was discovered after I attempted to rig the vehicle. You might also experience something similar or exactly the same thing as what we have here. My advice for you is to follow these exact expressions and your car rig will come out accurate. I'll be starting with the front left wheel. Make sure your label follows this same sequence. First, you input the car name. The car I'm currently using is a BMW. So it's going to be followed by an iPhone. Next, you write wheels, put a dot, you abbreviate front by writing FT. You put another dot again and you put hell. Make sure as you decide to change this uh, name tag, there are no spacing at all. Feel free to replicate this same tagging style for the other wheels. But bear in mind that the tag for the back wheels will look like this. BMW iPhone wheel dot BK, which is the abbreviation for back, dot L for the left hand side. Finally, you put the body tag and the body tag will be BMW dot body. Immediately after that, you select all the empties and press Shift A. Immediately after you press Shift A, you scroll down to the armature and you branch out to car deformation rig to apply bones. As soon as you have done that, you click on N to bring forth the rigger car menu for you to generate the rig. As soon as the rigger car menu appears, just go to your far right and you click on generate rig. Congrats! If your interface looks exactly like mine, then you've done a good job. And if it doesn't, I would advise you to go over this tutorial once again. Now let's check if everything is working perfectly. Yes, I believe everything is working perfectly now. If you attempt to move your car uh, towards the Y axis or back to the X axis, and you realize that your wheels are not rolling. Just click on this box to activate the wheels. Very simple and straightforward. And don't forget the initial rule. The initial rule is before you start to rig your car, make sure your car maintains the Y axis. This is very important. This will help you to make the entire process easy. I believe you got it this time around. If you didn't, take a good look at the expressions we used once again. Make sure that the first thing that you have in your expression is the brand name of the car. In this particular context, the brand name of our car is the BMW, which was followed by an iPhone next the wheel. If you look at the wheel well, you will notice that the first letter of the wheel was written in capital letter, which is W, capital letter W, and followed by small letters. Take note of the full stop of the dots. Next, you have the F and T. 
ft was written together joined together and you have your dot l make sure your own follows this sequence so that you will get a result that is as accurate as what you can see on your screen good luck i can't wait to hear from you